Hey everybody, welcome back. Where today I got I got kind of like a weird uh, a weird idea for a video, right? Like everybody is assuming that Regulation H is gonna be just like dual restrictions, right? That's obviously the next like logical step, you know. But I I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced that Regulation H is gonna be dual restrictions. I got a little bit of a conspiracy theory going on here. Based on basically everything we've seen in past VGC formats, I feel like it doesn't make sense for Regulation H to be dual restricted. And you know, obviously, maybe I'll be wrong. Maybe they'll announce it, you know, in in a couple of weeks, and they'll say, "Oh yeah, you just you can use two restricted Pokemon now." And I'll, you know, everybody will come comment on this video, and they'll be like, "Ah, you're stupid." That's fine. That's great for my channel. Uh, do that if that happens. But <laughs> um, based on like you know past years, I feel like probably. We're not gonna get dual restricteds until Worlds 2025. Cause cause that form that's gonna be the last format of this game. That format has to be dual restricteds. And if we go dual restricteds now, then then how are we still gonna be dual restricteds an entire year from now? We haven't had a format last an entire year in a very, very long time. Since like since the second to last year of Sun and Moon or something like that. So uh, today, I want to talk about basically what I th some some things that I think could happen for Regulation H and beyond. Obviously, we'll we'll go up to worlds. Some of them are gonna you know be like multi-step kind of plans. Um, but yeah, as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave me a big fat like, leave me a comment, tell me what you want to see in the future, tell me what you think Regulation H will be. And with that, let's jump right into it. All right, so the first option, this is the one that I think is probably the most likely. Okay. I think we're gonna have, and if you didn't play Sword and Shield, don't worry, I'll explain it, right? We're gonna have a Series 7 to Series 8 to Series 9 kind of deal, okay? Series 7 in Sword and Shield was every Pokemon available in the game, which is basically what Reg F was. And then Series 8 was single restricted with Dynamax. And then Series 9 was Series 7 again. So I think probably the format that's gonna take place from from like September, probably not all the way to December, but you know, like like September to like November. Why is it September, October, November? Maybe all the way through to December, but probably until like the end of November, right? I think that Series H is probably going to be Regulation F again. I don't know if I like that. Maybe, you know, revisiting Regulation F with more knowledge that we have now, maybe it'll be better than it was before, right? But Regulation F was more or less a solved format. Um, in a lot of ways, that's what happened in, uh, in Series 7, too, right? Like, we had a Series 9, and Series, Series, um, Series 9 was just Series 7 again, and it was already a solved format, it wasn't very fun. Hopefully they don't do that, but I feel like this is probably the most, the most likely outcome, is we're gonna get, we're gonna get Regulation F again, and maybe that means that Regulation I is gonna be like Series 10, and we're gonna get like single restricted no dynamax that would be kind of interesting i don't know i don't know how i feel about that well i mean obviously it'll be no terra not no dynamax but that would be interesting a format to play in um i don't know i don't know if it makes restricted worse or better it definitely makes calyrex worse which i'm a fan of i'm a fan of making calyrex worse but i don't really know exactly what it would do to the format i mean obviously like terra is a less impactful kind of thing than like dynamax was or like mega evolution was but it's entirely possible Reg, Reg H is just Reg F again, and then Reg I is single restricted, no Dynamax, and then finally we'll get to to Reg H I J, <laughs> and Reg J will be dual restricted, and we'll have Reg J for like six months. I think that makes a lot of sense. I feel like that's very easy, you know, that that gets us all the way to Worlds, like exactly, and that's two three months formats and a six month format makes sense to me that's kind of that's kind of the trend they've been doing right i think this is probably the most likely for me like like besides you know reg h just being dual restricted which i think is you know obviously it could happen i don't feel like it's gonna happen but i feel like so many people are saying it's gonna happen that i'm gonna look stupid and i'm gonna be wrong but i feel like for me like this is the most likely thing besides dual restricted now the next thing they could do right which which would be interesting and i think this is probably like the second most likely right uh, we're just going to move down the list of likeliness. I think that they might do a Sun Series, Moon Series, Ultra Series kind of thing, right? Where maybe Reg H is dual restricted, no Terra. And then like Reg I is 
Or maybe, maybe it's single restricted no Terra, dual restricted no Terra, dual restricted with Terra, or something like that. You know what I mean? Some kind of like, we start with like, like less things, then we move our way up. So maybe it would even be, you know, uh, Reg F again, and then single restricted, and then dual restricted. Or, or you know, some kind of thing. Because if you don't know, if you weren't playing during the Sun and Moon era, we had the last year of Sun and Moon, we had Sun Series, or the last year of Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. We had Sun Series, Moon Series, Ultra Series, right? Sun Series was no Z moves, no Mega Evolution. Moon Series was just Z moves, and then you had Ultra Series, which was Z moves and Dynamax, and obviously it was it was dual triggers the whole way. So like maybe, you know, they'll go they'll go like dual triggers no Terra and then they'll just do like dual restricted with Terra. I don't really know what the next escalation would be because we only have one gimmick right now, but they could do something like that and I think that would be, you know, it would make sense based on things they've done in the past. It's kind of similar to the last thing, but you know, a little bit different, like a little leans a little bit more on like maybe we'll do no Terra or something like that. The next thing that I think is kind of, I don't know how likely this is, but I feel like it's more likely than like the, the fourth direction I kind of have in my head, right? I think there's a non-zero chance, right, that... Well, this isn't really this isn't really reg, reg age, right? This doesn't solve reg age. Maybe maybe reg age is just single restricted again, or maybe reg age is dual restricted, right? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe reg age won't be worlds, right? But there is a non-zero chance that Pokemon Legends Z has just like regular ban battle mechanics, and you can transfer most Pokemon into that game and they decide that we're gonna play Worlds on Pokemon Legend Z. There's a non-zero chance. Like, like I don't, I don't think it's likely, but I think there's a chance that Legend Z is gonna impact Worlds somehow. I think this is probably the least likely way. I have another way that I think it might do it, but basically, like, le le like there's... <laughs> There's some kind of chance that Legend Z has regular battles and it comes out in like January, February, right? And we we switch competitive Pokemon to that in like uh, like March, April, and then we play Worlds and Legend Z. And it'll be whatever Legend Z format is. I don't know, maybe like the Legend Z decks, or maybe it'll just be Nat decks, what's available in Legend Z, dual restricted. I don't really know. I don't really know, but there's a non-zero chance. We're putting the tinfoil hat on, right? But here's what I think might happen, okay? Maybe Regulation H is dual restricted. Maybe it is dual restricted. Maybe we have Reg H for six months, right? We play Reg H all the way from September to like March, okay? And then after Legend Z has been out for like a month or two, right? All of the new stuff that we get in Legend Z you can bring it into to, to Scarlet and Violet. You can bring Xerneas and Yveltal now with whatever new form they give them or whatever, Me Mega Xerneas, whatever it is, whatever they do in that game, who knows what's gonna happen. Mind you, we know literally nothing about Legend Z right now except that it exists and it takes place in Lumio City. That's all that we know. Maybe, maybe, okay, Reg H is just dual restricted. Maybe it's just dual restricted and the Reg I, is dual restricted, but now we have Xerneas and Yveltal and Zygarde and whatever new forms they have. And that's literally the only difference, the only difference. And like those mines, maybe, they're, maybe they'll be stupid broken. Xerneas right now would already be super good. Um, so like, it's kind of hard to imagine like, what if they buff Xerneas? That's terrifying. What if they buff Yveltal? Like if they buff Yveltal, it might actually be like a legitimately threatening mon instead of just like, a supportive mod that, that helps another restricted do stuff, you know? What if they buff Zygarde? That's what I want, because Zygarde, Zygarde deserves it. He's, he's a good guy. He's he's a, he's a good little dog, you know? Like, I, I want to see more Zygarde buffs, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Maybe they'll give him, a, like, a, a fourth signature move. Thousand Waves, Thousand Arrows, Core Enforcer, and now it's got, uh, Thousand, th thousand Bullets or something. I don't know. There's your... your we were waiting forever for Pokemon Gun. There it is. Legend ZA, Thousand Bullets. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like like I feel like there's a, there's like a, at least a decent chance that somehow Legend ZA is going to impact what the world's format is, and maybe Reg H is, is dual restricted because of that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think that would be really interesting. I'd be I'd be kind of down for that. It sounds kind of fun. And the last thing I think Reg H could be, and this would be weird. Okay, what if Reg H? is is Reg A++. Now, I don't think this is very likely, okay? 
But you have to you have to point out that Reggae Plus Plus, if you don't know what that is, it's basically nas current national decks, no legendaries, no paradox Pokemon. So basically anything that would have been legal in Regulation A is legal in, in Reggae Plus Plus, but now you have the whole like available Pokedex to work with. I think this is non-zero chance. I think, you know, if it, even this kind of ties into like the, the Sun Moon Ultra kind of thing. What if Sun Moon Ultra is Reggae Plus Plus? and then Reg F, and then Dual Restricteds. Like, honestly, that would be a pretty, like, clear, clear like, progression, right? Like, available decks, no legendaries, no no Paradox Pokemon. Reg F, now you can have all your legendaries and Paradox Pokemon. Dual Restricteds, whatever you want to use, go use it. Like, go nuts, you know what I mean? And I think, you know, I think that sounds really cool. I'd be here for that. Like, that's, like, obviously, like, that's, like, a very clear, like, kind of, like, progression of formats, which I feel like they like to do. I feel like um, this isn't something that gets talked about a lot, but I feel like the Pokemon Company likes to do these like clear progressions of formats, and they kind of did it, you know, at the beginning, right? We had Reg A, which was no legendaries, no Paradox Pokemon, and then we had Reg B, which was they gave us Paradox Pokemon, and then we had Reg C, which gave us our legendaries, which at the time was just the uh, the Ruinous Quartet, and then obviously Reg D introduced all of the other legendaries that were available at the time, which is to say <sighs> Urshifu and Tornadus. All the ones that were in Legend Arceus, basically. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't really know exactly what's going to happen, obviously, right? I don't I don't work for the Pokemon company. Although, if they want to hire me, I'll do it. But if they hire me, then I have to stop making content, I think. I think that's how that works. Um, but I think it would be... It's, it's just interesting to talk about. You know what I mean? Because everybody... Like, a lot of people are just kind of taking, like, oh, yeah... Reg H is going to be dual restricted. Like, they're just taking it as fact, taking it, like, for granted. You know what I mean? And that's not what happened in Sword and Shield. In Sword and Shield, actually, we had single restricteds, and everyone went, okay, we're going to have dual restricteds next, right? And then we had Series 9, and it was Series 7 again. And then Series 10 still wasn't dual restricted. And obviously, you know, we didn't really have in-person events for those formats. So it's kind of hard to say. It's kind of like, you know, comparing apple to oranges a little bit. But I, I think it's just interesting to have a discussion about it. I think you guys should go down to the comments, right? Just start that discussion. And you know what? If, if I need to, if there's enough here, to, if there's enough there to talk about, I'll make another video. Like, that's okay. I can do that. I have the power. This is my channel. But like I said, I think it's just interesting to have a, have a, have a conversation about because Reg H is not necessarily going to just be dual restricted. In fact... I feel like there's more of a chance of it not being dual restricted than there is of it being dual restricted. So, I just wanted to talk about it. Maybe you thought it was stupid. Maybe you, maybe you're 100% convinced it's going to be dual restricted. I don't know. But I hope that you enjoyed my little rant, and I hope that you uh, leave a like and comment and subscribe. And with that, everybody, my name is Andrew. I'll catch you guys next time. Once upon a time, man, I heard that I was struggling. Came from a gym where power creep wasn't coming in. Face long, stats tight, defense up, shack height. Sturdy on me, sash like, got the TM last night. Hit me with that good move, make the smile and act right. Bast boys, better hit that builder. I know that's right. Big Bast busting out these body presses, better buy a body bag and